you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It's Bill Frain, the CEO of Liberty Defense. How are you doing today, Bill? Doing great, Rich. Thanks. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for joining us on our show. Great. Glad to be here. I have a question for you. So Liberty Defense is a technology company focused on the development and commercialization of security threat detection systems for high population public spaces. What else do you want investors to know about Liberty Defense? Well, and thanks, Rich. Um, you know, we're building a multi-tech security company. So we have a flagship product, which is called Hexwave, which we're developing out of Atlanta. And that's really for that, uh, the public space, you, you know, protection. You know, that's our goal, right? It's pretty simple, but, you know, we're providing security equipment for the safety of the, the public. And so uh, as part of our development, uh, in addition to the Hexwave product, we just licensed uh, exclusively another two technologies from right. Pacific Northwest National Lab. One is a high definition uh, AIT, which is people are very familiar with the body scanners at the airport where you put your hands up, millimeter wave technology. This is that very same technology. And we're going to have the opportunity to develop an upgrade, enhance the performance of the units at the airport over the next year to, to two years. So wow. that's really exciting. Uh, the other technology is a shoe screener, which you know, if you've gone through the the airport checkpoint, you know, you have to take off your shoes. It's just it's a new I hate it. takes. The, yeah. I hate that. <laughs> right, right. So this is a technology again that we have an exclusive license with PNNL, wow. and so uh, it's been funded by the Department of Homeland Security. Wow. It's won an award, an R and D award in 2020. So we're taking that technology over and we're going to commercialize it. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that in an airport uh, in the next 24 months. So, you know, we're, we're really building up the company. Uh, we're, we're investing in smart technologies. Um, we did win an award from the Bird Foundation, uh, which is a million dollar grant. And that's a combination of a U.S. Israeli uh, technology companies. And uh, again, Department of Homeland Security and Bird Foundation are funding this for us. And uh, we'll be in the development of that technology uh, over the next 18 months as well and bringing that uh, to life. Wow, that's impressive. What are some of the biggest security threats in highly trafficked public spaces today? And how is the threat detection technology industry moving forward to account for modern threats? Well, I mean, unfortunately, Rich, as, as we've seen over the last, well, several years, but more so seems in the last six months, you know, there's there's mass shootings. And, you know, I think since 2020, the, the number it's increased 40 percent um, over the previous year. I think it was 39 million gun background checks uh, in the U.S. alone in 2020. So, you know, we're seeing security needs in places that you didn't think needed it before. I mean, We've seen incidents at you know schools in malls, and now we're starting to see it at you know shopping places. Uh, there was an incident in Georgia at a massage parlor. So, in addition to where we see you know places of worship, stadiums, um, and, and as I mentioned, schools, kind of any place where people are gathering, I think we're going to see the demand and the need for security applications. Um, certainly for the for the near future. And, and, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years and you think that, you know, it, it's going to stop and it doesn't, you know, it just continues to evolve. And so our goal at Liberty Defense is to provide that technology that's going to prevent these events from happening and staying ahead uh, from a technology perspective. Well, you know what? I commend what you guys are doing because it's a very scary world, world right now when it seems like every time you turn on the TV, there's another shooting, like you say, and right. it's a mass shooting and it's in a public place and it's really frightening. And what makes Hexwave such an effective threat detection system compared to other solutions on the market? Well, the major difference with the, the Hexwave product that we have, and we'll, we'll stay with that and focus on that, is that we're able to detect any type of threat or anomaly on the body. So plastic, um, you know, metallic and non-metallic objects, liquids, 
um, you know, anything that's on the body. So we're really taking a reflection of the body. So it's safe, it's harmless, it's contactless, high throughput capability. Yet we're going to see if you have a ghost gun that, you know, President Biden just talked about, the plastic guns, a plastic explosive, uh, liquid explosive. So compared to the metal detection systems out there, we're going to be able to detect any type of anomaly. At the same time, we will not detect on things like your wallet, your keys, your cell phone, and your belt. Again, helping the process, putting people through, but safety obviously is the top priority, but throughput also is a, is a big concern. And we're doing this with you know, algorithms, software, and automated detection. So we're telling the operator where a threat is. So that information is really crucial to those security operators out there. That's great what you guys are doing. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Liberty Defense's beta testing arrangements with organizations like the Virginia Division of Capitol Police and big, big, uh, big name here, FC Bayern Munich? Yeah, right. Yeah, so we're, we've got a really good group of beta partners out there. I think we've, we've talked to, over the last year to about eight or 10, you know, as you mentioned, FC Bayern and, you know, the Virginia Division Capitol Police. We have a couple of schools, um, you know, out in Utah, Park City School System, University of Wisconsin, you know, so we're really trying to hit all the market verticals. Uh, we're in the port of Tampa, potentially. There's a Hindu temple in Georgia, which is one of the highest, um, you know, visited um, attractions in the state of Georgia. So we're, we're again, you know, going after uh, those high traffic areas where there's a lot of public um, you know, people and entertainment venues. So uh, it, it's a nice diverse group of beta partners and hopefully we'll be there by the end of this year. Now, Liberty Defense has a highly experienced team of executives and an advisory team with a proven track record of security, management and corporate finance. Can you tell us a little bit about your key members and what they bring to the table? Yeah, sure. So I, just um, my background, I've been in this, the industry for 30 years. So going back to the um, incident, the Pan Am 103 Lockerbie, you know, when the um, there was an explosive on the plane. So I've been in this for a long time. Um, it, you know, it's been my passion, and certainly over the last two years to be able to bring new technology to life again to try and uh, thwart these events. But also our our president and CTO has been in this industry. I worked with him for 15 years. Both of us were at L3 Security Detection System, uh, which is a very large company. Um, we've got some uh, folks on the engineering side that ha have patents that have developed the technology that we're talking about, the millimeter waves. So certainly they know what they're doing. And then we've got a really good team in Vancouver. You know, we've had great support from folks at Canaccord Genuity that have really helped us out. But we've got some capital markets um, folks on our team that have done this in the past. They know how to get investors. They know how to maintain the investment community and they know how to raise money. Now, speaking on that, Liberty Defense recently closed an oversubscribed public offering of $6.9 million from with Drawdown Detection, Inc. What does this mean for your company and what can investors expect from Liberty Defense in 2021? Well, it, you know, certainly it's going to help accelerate our development, uh, not only in the Hexwave, but the two other products that I discussed, you know, the, the HDAIT, which is going to be, you know, the traveling public is coming back in the U.S., I was just out there uh, last weekend and, and, you know, it was 45 minutes in the security line. So uh, we're excited to be able to get that technology and upgrade the equipment at the airports and the shoe screeners. So we're going to accelerate our development. We're also going to have key hires on the engineering side. So that engineering talent is critical. And, um, you know, we're also looking to get the units into beta. So the more units we can get out there, get more data, more information, the better it will be for security operators and for the business. What's the best way for interested investors to contact you? Well, one, I would suggest to, to look at the uh, website, libertydefense.com. There's a lot of information on there, you know, a lot of the news releases, the latest PowerPoint presentations, and the latest on the technology. Uh, me personally, the best way to do it is bfrain, F-R-A-I-N, at libertydefense.com. So emails, and I, I'm happy to get back to people. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders to know about Liberty Defense before we say goodbye today, what would it be? Well, that you know, we're a fast-paced, growing company, staying ahead of the curve of the threat of, you know, terrorism, domestic and international. We are we've got very good backing 
We're working with MIT, with PNNL. We have exclusive license on the technology and we have the leadership team that's going to bring these products to life. And we're going to be commercializing these over the next 12 to 18 months. That's fantastic. I commend you for the work you're doing. We need in this world more people focused on making our world safe. So yeah. thank you for doing what you're doing. Bill Frain, the CEO of Liberty Defense. Great. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Now, before I say goodbye to everyone that's watching, please, guys, do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. If you do like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. I do feel that this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Hopefully, you like the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody and have a nice day.